Hey you guys, it's me Sierra, aka the Nerd Girl Review, and I thought today I would just come at you guys with like a quick reading update, life update, Friday reads like video, I don't know. I'm just doing something really informal because, you know, I really wanted to film something and, you know, get back into the habit of doing that even if it's just, you know, informally filming something once a week. Excuse me. <coughs> just dying a little bit. Um, so, yeah, oh, uh, let's see, life-wise, you know, busy with college and all that, I have an exam tomorrow that I should be studying for, but procrastination for the win, you know, it's how I like to live my life on the edge, but, um, yeah, there's that, and then, so, reading-wise, I haven't been, like, really actively reading as much, you know, as I used to, and, you know, it's just because I'm super busy, but I do make it a habit of reading at least 30 minutes a night before I go to bed, which, you know, chugs a decent amount, but, like, not a lot, like, it doesn't make a huge dent, but, um, right now I'm reading King's Cage, which is the third book in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aviard, and I really liked the first book, I don't know why, but I did, I read the second book, wasn't really that much of a fan I it just it wasn't the same atmosphere and feeling to me as the first book and it just I don't know it I didn't like it as much it didn't really you know I don't know there's just something about it that was just really off to me and I didn't like Mara's Mary I don't Mara, Mara I don't know how to say her name I didn't like her character as much she became a lot more annoying and now that I'm in this third book, I'm still, like, super annoyed, and I don't know why I'm still reading this series, to be honest. I mean, I guess I just want to find out what happens and see if there's any more world building or anything like that, but right now I'm, like, a quarter of the way in, maybe a little over, maybe a third of the way in, and I'm just, I'm interested to see, you know, what happens from this point, but honestly, like, the characters just aren't appealing to me, like, I hate her she just she's so stuck up and full of herself and at the same time like mopey and just uh and then um it's like two perspectives which is weird like it's hers and then this girl Cameron and like it's been such a long time since I've read like Red Queen and um Glass Sword like I don't remember like hardly anything that happened in those books so like reading from this other girl's perspective kind of annoys me too and like I just don't like her personality and, like, her kind of selfish attitude and how she doesn't really like all the other characters, and I don't know. It just, it really isn't appealing to me, but I'm going to try to finish it because I want to see what happens, and, um, I guess I'll read the next book. I don't know. I, I probably will just because I want to know what happens. And then right now on audiobook, I'm listening to Hex Hall, which I've already, like, read the whole series before, but, um, I really just was kind of, like, in a slump, and I wanted to read something that I knew I liked, or rather listen to something that I knew I liked, so I decided to pick up Hex Hall, and I've been listening to that while I've been at, like, work and walking to classes and stuff, and I really do enjoy that series. I don't know, I, like, Paranormal is, like, my favorite type of series. Like, I just love witches and all of that stuff. And just the writing and, like, the tone and the atmosphere of that book just, you know, it picks me up so much more than, like, King's Cage is doing right now. So, yeah, that's um, all I have to say. Um, I'm going to try to make another video next week. I'll force myself, even if it's something, you know, like, informal like this. So, till next time.